Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I am doing a massive haul of all of the things I have accumulated over the past like week and a half or so. Um, this is stuff I got thrifting, vintage shopping, at the Renaissance Fair, and in LA. So I have a lot of things to show you, so let's just get started. Okay, so the first things I want to show you guys is what I got from the Renaissance Fair yesterday. I had so much fun. I'll insert some pictures um, of us over there. I went with my nieces and my sister, my mom and my dad. Um, but the first thing I got were these amazing handmade bat wings that you put into your shirt. I'm not sure if you can see, but they go like this. They're very reflective on camera, but they have red and black details on them, and I wore these all day yesterday. Um, so yeah, this is the first thing I got. The second item I got is this window catcher. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet because not a lot of my house catches good sun, so I have to decide that still, but look how beautiful this is. Like, like I have not even seen one like this before. The colors are just beautiful and amazing. I can't wait to put this up. And I love the stars and the moon. And this little detail here. So cute. Okay, next things I got were just pictures. Um, I came across this little booth that had a lot of like thrifted vintage pictures. So this is the first one I got. This is one of my favorites. It was only $2. Amazing. I love vintage pictures. I think you guys know that. My whole wall over here is filled with vintage pictures that I have accumulated over the years. But the next one is this vintage Japanese artwork picture. I just really enjoy Japanese artwork, so I had to pick that up because I don't have any in my house yet. And the... Okay, I hope this is appropriate to show, but this is the third one. It looks to be um, like a c-section being performed in the old, olden days. Um, but I don't have a frame like this, so I'm really happy. I'm incorporating some color frames as well. Those were all only two dollars, so definitely a steal. My earrings, I almost forgot this, but I also got these earrings. I've been into gold recently. You guys know that I'm not really into gold and I mainly wear silver, but I've been starting to wear gold lately and I really like the way it looks. So that's all that I got from the Renaissance Fair. I'm now gonna move on to what I got at the thrift stores. Um, first item I got was this black flowy skirt. I'll insert some videos um, of what it looks like on, but looks to to me like somebody hot glued these like rhinestones so <laughs> I've been slowly picking at them to get them off because I don't like them and they're in re a really random place I don't think the glue will come off but we can we can figure it out when we you know upcycle it a little bit but I really really like how flowy this skirt is it's like a midi mini type skirt these jeans I got from Goodwill I just wore these to work um, a few days ago. These are now my favorite pair of jeans. These are from Aeropostale and they're low-rise blue jeans that flare down. These are like the perfect pair of pants. They remind me of the early 2000s and I actually remember going school shopping at Aeropostale when I got into middle school. I think that was like 2013 or 2012 but I used to love their jeans there and I still have some of their jeans. All right, next thing I got was this really cute mini purse. It's the, it's from the brand Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know if you guys can see, but it also has like this pink trimming around the edges of it. And I just thought this was really cute. I don't have a lot of mini purses and this one looked like brand new and it was only like five bucks. So of course I had to pick that up. Next shirt I got is this really cute ruffled sparkly off-white top. I don't even know if you guys can really see the sparkle on camera, but I was gonna wear this to the Renaissance Fair yesterday, but I ended up going with a different sparkly shirt, but this was my second choice. Um, or actually, this was my first choice, but I just didn't like the way it looked with the skirt I had on, but this is definitely super, super cute. 
I'm so glad I'm starting to get into more like cream, neutral colors. Um, I really enjoy it. All right, next thing I messed up because I washed all of this stuff and I accidentally put this bag into the dryer and it completely like stripped some of the rhinestones on this bag. But this is a pretty big purse and it has um, like beaded rhinestones that turn into a star. And then the inside is just a dark brown color. I really like big bags. I think I'm gonna switch over my bag into this one just for fun because I like to switch my bags every so often, but that's a good find. Next up, I found this pajama lingerie type top. It's pink and black. It has lace trimming and then this cute little ties on the front. This is from the brand One Blonde one brunette never heard of that brand before but i'm really excited to wear this because i've been getting into wearing pink again lately and i really really enjoy the pale like baby pink type color so i'm really happy i found this next thing i got is really cute um it's this black kitty cardigan it's a dark green color and then the inside of it is black and green and i haven't worn this yet but I think I'm gonna wear this to work maybe tomorrow. Uh, there's no tag, so I don't know. It's really cozy and perfect for fall. My whole theme here was basically going for fall themes um, because it's starting to get cold and I need cardigans to wear. But the next thing I got is this dress. First off, it's a really cool dress and the color and the mesh is what drew me towards this dress. But when I was getting to check out, I was looking at the tag and it says Trip NYC on it. And I was like, oh my God, I found a trip shirt or a trip dress. And this looks like from a really long time ago because it has their old logo on it. Um, but I already wore this. I think it's so, 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 so pretty. And I think it was only like $2. So really happy I was able to find a trip dress. Next up, I got this <laughs> monster energy drink shirt. Um... I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Um, I don't personally drink Monster or any type of energy drink. I was thinking of cropping it, but I don't know. It already looks like it might fit me perfectly, so I really, really liked this. Next up, I got this cute little skeleton owl shirt. I really like the color of this. This like muted like purple color has been one of my go-to colors recently, so of course I had to pick this up. Um, this is like a perfect shirt for me to wear to work. All right, coming up on the last few items from Savers, I got this dark brown thermal shirt. It's from The Gap. Um, I don't own anything that's this color and I've been really trying to gravitate towards like earth tones lately. So I don't know, I'm gonna see how I need to style this to make it look good on me because it is a little big, but we'll make do. Okay, next up, this is one of my favorite shirts I found. This reminds me so much of Bella Swan from Twilight. Um, just this color is like the color that I feel like she always wears. It's this like, I don't know, is that ribbed lettuce trim long sleeve top? This so reminds me of her and I cannot wait to wear this. I think I'd wear it with like the, one of the buttons down like that. Maybe even two of them. This is from Old Navy actually. And it's a size medium. It does fit me a little bit big, but I don't mind because it's supposed to be cozy, so got that. And then the last thing I got from Savers is this dark purple. You can't even see it on camera because it's so dark. Um, I don't even know what, I don't know textures. I'm really bad with textures, but yeah, it's <laughs> this cardigan. Um, it's really oversized. You guys can see it on me. It's really, really oversized and cozy and warm. And I cannot wait to wear this when it starts to get really, really, really cold. So don't have any colors like this yet in my closet. Of course, I had to pick this up. All right, next up, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Urban Outfitters in LA. Um, I spent a pretty penny there, honestly. <laughs> um, but the first thing I got was, again, this dark um, brown colored baby tee. I thought this was Ed Hardy at first, but I think it's just supposed to like the uh, traditional like almost like tattoo style artwork which you guys know I'm into so of course I had to pick this up 
I think it looks really good on me um, and another shirt that I will be wearing a lot to work. I'm just loving browns lately, I swear, because um, <laughs> I got this like silky, I don't even know what texture this is or what fabric, but it's really shiny. It looks like silk, but it's this long bodycon dress and the back is completely open. It's so cute. The only thing about this is that I think I might need to get it tailored because you're supposed to wear it without a bra and the backing is open and like it doesn't fit my boobs. It's too big, so I think I need to get it, you know, hemmed or something, but I really, really like this chocolatey brown color and how it like hugs my body, so I'm happy I picked that up. Next thing I got is very unconventional for me. Are then, These are these like flowy hippie type pants. I don't even know the detail that's on it. I can't really tell. I think they're supposed to be like little flowers, but they're these stretchy... Um, pants. I really really like these because the front has like a high cut and then in the back it's longer so I think it looks really flattering. I haven't worn these yet but I'm really excited to wear these as well. The last thing I got from Urban Outfitters was this plain black long sleeve top. I really like cropped long sleeve shirts um, and this one's really comfortable. I got it in extra small. I just really like the way it like cuts right here. It's really, really flattering. And the shoulders kind of sit a little bit lower. So I had to pick this up even though it was a little bit expensive for just a plain long sleeve shirt. All right, we are down to the last items. Um, I was so happy when I found this. This is actually something I found when I was checking out and I thought it was so cool. The colors are so 2000s on this, but I found a Juicy Couture wallet. Um, it comes with this little strap and this cute little um, bedazzled chain thing. I've been using it as my wallet. So um, I intended on maybe selling this or giving it away, but I ended up really liking it. So I switched my waller, waller, wallet over to it. Um, but yeah, this is the first thing I found. Second thing I found was this black and white striped Bebe sport top. I, I love 2000s clothes and this is just such a soft stretchy top and the rhinestones of course I'm definitely into rhinestones the black and white is like perfect I cannot wait to wear this out um this was a good find for sure all right next thing I got was this super cute lace I think it's technically like lingerie but it like looks like a baby doll dress it is so 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 cute and the fabric is actually really stretchy on it. Um, this is from the brand, I don't know, Stroke of Midnight? Yes, Stroke of Midnight. Super cute, um, still has the tag on it. I paid 23 bucks for it because this was at the um, round two or second street. I can't remember, I think it's second street vintage store. Um, but this is so cute. I already wore it in one of my Instagram pictures. Um, and I feel like this would be styled really well with something underneath, like a long sleeve top. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I wanna style this in the fall time. I got this from the vintage store that I got everything else that I just showed you from. It's this cute little um, pink ruffled top with these white ties that go around your shoulders. This is actually from Urban Outfitters. I think it was from a while back, but I really, really like the style of this. I don't own anything like this. It almost reminds me of like, I don't know, Southern Belle type outfit, I don't know. I think it's super girly and cute. So I went and picked that up. The last two things I got were band t-shirts. Um, of course, I have to pick up band t-shirts every time I see one of my favorite bands in a vintage shop or whatever. Um, but the first one I got is Megadeth. This is one of the coolest shirts I think I own. Just the graphics on it alone are amazing and the vibrancy, you can definitely tell whoever owned this previously um, really took good care of it. So I found this in my size and I'm really happy that I picked it up. All right, and the other t-shirt that I got is Annotations of an Autopsy. They are a black metal band. Um, this shirt is a little bit big for me, but I do like the oversized type of shirts um, this technically isn't like vintage. I think it's maybe from like 2010 or something, but again, the graphics are amazing. And of course I had to pick this up because 
Love me my band t-shirts. All right, the very last thing I have to show you guys is this dress that my mom got me on um, Thread Up, I believe. It's so cute. I just need to figure out how <laughs> it's supposed to be worn because it has two like layers to it. Okay, yeah, I did. It's like this. Um, it has one like layer of mesh or sheer like scarf material. And then on the bottom, it has these really cute sequences and it like hangs off of the shoulders with like really pretty bell sleeves. Of course, I'll insert in images of everything I got, but I did end up getting quite a bit of stuff. I basically like revamped my whole wardrobe, <laughs> but now that I showed you guys everything, I have to go put it away and it's getting pretty late. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got. Um, let me know what your favorite piece was and let me know what other type of videos you would like to see. I will see you in my next one. Bye.